Hello and welcome to our Back to Basics series. In this episode we're going to be talking about the different kinds of hardware and cables that you may need when broadcasting live. Just before I start, I should make you aware that if you don't plan on broadcasting live, then this part of the series may not necessarily be for you. But don't worry about it, you may prefer just using a software-only solution or a cloud-based solution, such as our Radio.co automation. However, if you do want to do something more complex than just playing music, such as talking through multiple microphones or just managing multiple input devices, then a mixer is probably what you'll want to use. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Let's start off with the mixer. The mixer allows you to take in various audio inputs and balance, position, effect and equalise them into a single feed, or what we call a mix. And on some mixers, this might be called the master output. The mix is then transmitted to Radio.co via some broadcasting software, which we'll get into a little bit later. Using an XLR cable connect each microphone to its individual channel on the mixer board. An XLR cable can be identified by its three pins and circular connector. This type of cable is recommended for microphone use, as it's able to send a balanced sound over long distances. The XLR cable also locks into the microphone, ensuring a secure connection that is unlikely to come loose. So there are two main types of microphones that you may be using. They are condenser and dynamic microphones. Condenser microphones are primarily used in studios where they can pick up sounds in great detail and accuracy. Whereas dynamic mics are great to pick up loud sounds. Unlike condenser microphones, dynamic ones feature a wire coil inside the microphone to amplify signal from the diaphragm. The output is considerably lower of that of a condenser, which is great if you're picking up a signal which is already pretty strong. So, which microphone is best for you? Well, as a rule of thumb, if you plan to record in a soundproof recording environment, such as this, then the condenser microphone may be the best one for you. If you want live sound recording, or you plan to record instruments such as an amplified guitar or drums, then the dynamic mic is definitely the one that you need. If using a condenser microphone, then you will need phantom power to run it, so you can't connect it directly into your computer. For a condenser microphone, you'll either need a microphone preprocessor, an audio interface, or a mixer. Last thing to talk about is broadcasting software. Now, broadcasting software takes audio from your computer and broadcasts it out on your online radio station. There are different types that you can use. Some are basic that just let you play audio online, whilst others are more advanced with media management, samplers, gains, and mixing capabilities. We recommend using BUT, or broadcast using this tool on Mac devices. Whereas if you've got a Windows device, then you should really be using our Radio.co broadcasting tool. The links to download these are in the description below. And that's it. We hope in this episode you've learned about the basic hardware and cables you may need when broadcasting live. If you have any questions or you'd like to know some more information, then please get in touch with our support team at studio at radio.co.